Claude and I, we were raised by our grandmother. So we were inseparable growing up. He's a kind-hearted, caring, loving guy, very goofy. November 12, 2000, I remember clearly I was at work. When my pager went off, I did not answer it at the time. I was doing night shift. And um, later on, my mom called me and she told me that um, Claude got shot at a party in Vancouver. My understanding is that he had a birthday party at his house and after everybody left, then he went to this dance. What I heard is that somebody sat at the door and had their leg extended and then he, uh, he said, excuse me, and I don't know what happened there, but something, some argument ensued there and inside he said, my understanding is that he said that you don't support and they have something to say and you support people and then they disrespect you and a fight ensued and a gun was drawn. We went to the hospital and I remember asking them if I could see him and they say no. I, I just lost it there and um, crying and just, just could not um, phantom what had happened. You know, he came here, we both came together, and um, now he's gone. It was un unbelievable for me. I know he loved me to death. He worshiped the ground I walk on. We were very protective of each other. He has three daughters, which the first one he would say, sis, this one is yours. We were great friends and rely on each other a lot, you know, for the brother-sister relationship. And um, he was very kind and caring. I would love for whoever or anybody out there who knows anything, and I know people knows things, um, but it's just the slightest information that you have, if you would come forward and, and just let the authorities know so this person, whoever did this to Claude, can be brought to justice because this is a cowardly person who would do this to someone and just take off and thinking this is okay. His family is suffering, his mother, his sister, his children in Jamaica are suffering. His eldest daughter got married last year, November, and during the wedding ceremony, during a speech at reception, there were three people who got up and spoke about him and his daughters were crying during that time and how much they miss their father. We would like that person to brought to justice for what they have done to Claude and therefore we can have some closure because it's 18 years of torture that we have had.